Hello everyone, this is NS Alters, and today I'll be showing you how I did this Myel the Anima border extension alter. Now this one's a little bit different from my normal border extensions, as you'll see. We're not really extending the art as we are creating an o a new custom border. So first I'm just going over the edges with a nice dark green that sort of matches the background, but I'm not being too precise about it as we're going to be covering up a lot of that anyways. So yeah, the first step is really just blocking out what we're going to do. So as you can see, we're going to extend the art by really creating a custom frame of flowers that will wreathe the entire card and really make it feel like you're peering through the bushes to see my owl behind them. Uh, here, I, I didn't like the way that those flowers looked, so I just decided to remove them. And once I was happy with the blocking of the white cards, or the white flowers, then uh, we came back with some red paint to do the red flowers. Keeping everything really watered down, really loose, because at this point we're just getting the ideas on the card. Now that I'm more happy with them, I do a few other thin layers to just sort of solidify where these placements are going to be. So now that all of the blocking was done with uh, several layers, I started working on detailing the white flowers first. I'm trying to copy the colors that are in the original art as much as possible. After close consideration, you'll notice that they're not really white. They're actually more yellow, brown, they're shades of green. So I've got all those colors on my palette and I'm using very watered down layers to do just tiny little specks of detail. Uh, and every little layer on top of the other will add a lot of depth, especially on something silky or soft like flower petals. You really want the transitions to be smooth. So I'm just doing lots and lots and lots of very thin layers, and I'm only using pure white for the highlights. So yeah, just going around the card, doing each flower one by one. Once I was happy with the white flowers, I moved on to the red ones. Now I found the red ones a little bit hard to get the color matching just right. Uh, I was painting with mostly red colors, and then it just didn't quite match the flower on her forehead there, so I actually found that mixing in just a little bit of orange uh, was the trick I needed to get the color just right. Once I was done with the red flowers, we went over with the leaves. So I actually first brought down the leaves to a darker base layer, so just with a nice watered down dark green. And then from that really dark base, I actually took a pretty close to white, uh, mixed a lot of white paint with my green, and I painted out the pattern of the veins on the leaves. And obviously that's too bright, too white, so uh, then what you do is, after you have a nice gradient of tones with your white colors, almost in a grayscale, then you can water down uh, a nice vibrant green color and just glaze over the whites, which stains them, uh, and you get a really nice approximation. I was trying to copy mostly the flower on her forehead there, as it, I think, was the best example. And then just painting in these little white petals to go over the edge of the type frame, uh, and I think that really just kind of brings the card to life, makes it pop out of the shell a little. Once I was happy with that, I started painting in the shadows. Uh, so using an incredibly watered down brown paint and using multiple layers, uh, I just slowly built up the depth until it was at a point where it really felt like the leaves were in front of the frame, in front of the original art, so you really get a strong sense of depth. The last step there is just to start scraping away at the extras, making sure that the power and toughness there is nice and visible, making sure the shadows are where I want them to be, and up here on the name, I uh, scraped the way the edges, and then you'll see that I mix a little bit of black paint right here, and I just kind of clean up the corners so that it looks nice and finished. The last step, as always, is to sign my initials. A little bit dark down in the corner there, but that's okay. 
And there it is, one mile the anima, ready for commander. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing. And as always, have a good day.